Good afternoon, Bulldogs, and welcome to this week's special Valentine's Day edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Naomi S.J. And I'm Kendall Anderson. We have a sweet show ahead of us. Let's get started. So, Naomi, what's your favorite thing about Valentine's? I think it'd have to be how everything is red and pink themed. Decorations, candy, even my makeup. Well, lucky for you, Kyla, Melissa, and Brianne went out and tested a few new beauty hacks. Let's see how that turned out. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Anyways, so today we are Jesus gonna Christ, try to you're do. You're screaming. Sorry, there's a microphone. I'm trying to. <laughs> okay. Calm down. Anyways, today we're trying to do beauty tricks and hacks if you're ever running late on Valentine's Day and you're like, wow, I need to get this done quicker, or maybe you just want your makeup to last longer, we got you covered. Because obviously we're the experts of makeup, I mean. <laughs> Honestly, my makeup looks really good, so. Okay, well then, Melissa. Okay, Melissa. Red lipstick. Red lipstick, and then you put it like under your eyes and then you put concealer over it and it's supposed to like help take away your under eyes. <laughs> she looks like an Indian. I have the plague. Yeah. Okay, and then we put the concealer on, right? Or the... No. You, have, you, you have to don't... blend that out. No, I thought you put it on and then you blend it. I don't think you blend it with the concealer. It's just going to make it pink. But isn't that the point of it to be no, pink? No, you blend out the red lipstick first. Okay. Why did we do you this a test? Because none of you wanted to do it. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't... No, it doesn't Oh, it's because you. she has yellow skin. Talk, talk yellow about that. Skin. Talk about that. Yellow skin. When you're secretly racist. <laughs> No, because isn't it? Kyla's not Asian, she's Filipino. Why do you think I'm Filipino? Why do you think I'm Filipino? So which way does, so the next thing is spoon contouring and you get the spoon and you do this to try to like get the lines good. Like, get, I feel like this is a- I think it's supposed to be like this because that's where the edge is going. Oh yeah. That would make so much more sense. And then you just- Wait, where's my, oh you have it. I was like, where's my naked brush? I wanted the one that said booty call. Because booty call. Doing other things. Here's the button that films stuff. Now we can film this entire thing on a different angle. It's just like not blending that well. Blush is lip lipstick. I've never done lipstick blush has before blush. because I turn red. Oh, I don't really have like a. Yes, you do. There's obviously a Granny Smith on your face. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> it looks nice. What are you talking about? It's because your face. My face. Who's gonna ask me out this Valentine's Day? Adam right? from Centennial! Can we not? <laughs> Please donate to the poor. Are we gonna use cream contour? Is this the same color? You can cream contour? I'm lighter than. Yeah. Some... <laughs> That's her hair. Well, it's not my fault. She is. <laughs> that looks good. Like We're obviously not in a big spot either. Like literally, oh, you yeah. guys saw this the corner better. we're yeah. in. <laughs> this is better. Can you like suck in your cheeks again? <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Melissa, you literally overdraw her lips. Oh Can yeah, not overdraw my lips. That's a good one. You want the boys to chase after you no, again, so you just have to make your lips I like look how really this I put uh, it back really good. Oh, oh, no. uh, less Kylie Jenner. Well, obviously, it just ended up really well because look at this. Kyla's gonna I party. think you honestly, this is how I'm gonna look. I think you're gonna look really good. I think you're gonna get. Kyla's gonna call me to do. Or now what are we doing? Just do it without makeup because you look beautiful without it. Oh! Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day! I couldn't say that. Curse that word. Thanks, guys. Hey, Kendall. Another thing I love about Valentine's Day. All of the beautiful flowers. Well, you should pick up some from Horticulture in the Sky Bridge. Floriculture will be selling carnations today in front of the library. For more information, come to V17 to talk to Miss Corey. Valentine's can be really, really fun, but sometimes it's just plain awkward. Mia hits the halls to hear about students' interesting Valentine's Day experiences. What's up, Bulldogs? It's Mia here, and this week I decided to go out into the halls of LCHS to find out some of your guys' thoughts on Valentine's Day. I'm just spending the day with my girlfriend. Just spend a lot of time with my family back home, back in Colorado. Uh, I don't really have anything to be excited for this Holland Valentine's Day. Chocolate. <laughs> Lower sales on chocolate. <laughs> oh, 
going to like a mermaid pool, just hanging out, watching the waves. Uh, just having fun with the ones you love. Mm. Going to the movies, going to go get dinner, and then just hanging out for the rest of the day. Movie nights in and with a lot of food. Wow, it looks like you guys are going to have some fun this weekend with Valentine's Day and Sadie Hawkins. Well, that's all I have for you this week, dogs. I'm Mia Tonto Donati for Bulldog Broadcast. Hey, Naomi. Did you know it's been a year since we aired our very first episode of the studio? I can't believe it's been that long already. Let's take a look at our anniversary episode of the studio, Valentine's Day edition. needs to work a little harder because Daniel's kind of just been jumping the gun with everyone else, you know? He's so nice, and he's so sweet, and he only has eyes for me, obviously, and we're just so in love with each other, and... Okay, so the reason Naomi liked Daniel is because she got that mixed up Valentine's card that was supposed to be for me, so obviously she's just confused and oblivious of the fact that Daniel still likes me. I've been waiting for him to actually confess to me, you know? But it's been like a year, so I'm moving on. Yeah, you are we so cute, guys? Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. I'm going to ask him to say Hawkins, and he's going to say yes, obviously, because we're so in love. I know um, that Naomi likes him, but it's been really hard because he's been kind of complimenting and like flirting with everyone. Oh, like he brought me a frappuccino the other day from Starbucks. He bought me flowers last week. He complimented me on my poncho. He hits on seriously every single girl he comes across. Um, so my plans for Valentine's Day is I'm just going to play the field. I'm going to flirt with everybody that I can. So I'm going to ask Daniel to the Sadie Hawkins dance. And once he says yes, because he will say yes, obviously, because he loves me and we're in love. I'm not going to care. I'm going to go in there without anybody, like, draped over my arms. I'm going to go in there single. And then when I come out, I'm going to come out plural. If you get what I mean, I'm going to have all So Naomi's been having a little thing with Daniel. And Daniel's just been jumping on to random people. I think Daniel is just kind of wants to flirt with everyone. Like, more power to you. I don't really care, but just don't be breaking anyone's hearts. Right, well, I gotta get back to work. Okay. As for Naomi, she's a little too obsessed. Stalker levels of obsessed. This could only end uh, badly. Um, so for my schedule for this Sadie Hawkins dance right now, it's starting off with some pre-parties. First, I'm gonna go to my church. When we go to dinner, it's going to lead down to the Rio Grande and there's going to be rose petals on the side. Second off, I'm going to go to my mom's house because she wants to take pictures and I like my mom's cooking. At the end, a hot air balloon is going to fly over. Then I'm going to go to the parties and I'm going to dance with everybody. Rose petals. I'm going to dance with all the pretty ladies. And we will enter in matching outfits, sea foam green with a sea foam tie. Look cool. Maybe like a blazer? I don't know, have some flames on there to show that I'm like powerful and dominant. And then we will make our way into the dance and our eyes will only be on each other. This is gonna be lit, like, like strobe lights everywhere, people are gonna be dancing, I'm gonna be dancing, more of the pretty ladies there. As we dance the night away under the stars in love. It's like, they're gonna be all up on me, I'm gonna be all up on them, it's gonna be a good time, a real good time. I really just don't understand this drama with Daniel. I mean, he does the worm across the floor regularly, so. I just, I don't get it. I have a really quick question to ask you. It's totally fine if you fall in love with me afterwards. I totally understand. Anyways, but, um, I was really meaning to ask you this when I first met you. Did it hurt? Did what? You know, 
when you fell from heaven. And so I don't want to repeat last Valentine's. So I was just thinking about flirting with every girl, girl here. So I, like no one misses out. And that way I don't miss out on anybody, you know? You know what I mean? That's a bad idea unless you want to get slapped by everyone who finds out about it. I heard Naomi's going to ask you out. Why don't you try out with her? Really? It could work if you tried. Yeah. I don't like that. Can I just like sort of talk with Naomi and like leave her wanting more and then just flirt with everybody out? Like, dude, no. No. That's not how it works. I mean, that's not how love works. I'm sure that's how love works. No, it's not. I've seen enough of The Bachelor to know how that's how it works. Okay, so I'm about to ask Daniel to the dance, and I think I'm gonna do it like this. <clears throat> Daniel, will you go to the dance? Here, let's go. Hey, Susie, do you have a library card? Uh, yeah. Because I think I left mine at home, and I've been checking you out all period. You should go to the dance with me. No, that wasn't. You know what this shirt's it's made out of? You know what this shirt's made out of? What is it made out of? One hundred percent boyfriend material. High pitch, high pitch is the way to go. Daniel, you should go to the dance. That's good. Perfect. 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 It's great. Life is stupid. Hey Daniel. Yeah. I think Daniel wants to see you in the studio. Okay. Hey Naomi. Hey Daniel. How's it going? Come sit. So Daniel, you should consider this. I know you'll say yes, but I was wondering if you wanted to go to St. Catherine's with me. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean. Yeah. Great! We're gonna have so much fun. Oh my gosh. Uh, love you. Yeah. I love you. Love you. Well, I guess another one of my plans failed. I guess I'm going to Sadie Hawkins with Naomi. Yeah, that's not. It's not really a big problem because I can always make the best of it, you know? So Daniel said yes, like I knew he would, and I can't wait to spend the entire night with him, just me and him, in love with each other, and I'm so happy that he said yes, and it's going to be absolutely perfect because we're so in love, and I love him so much. I just got a text. I got a text from my friend inviting me to go to St. Clair's. For the entire night. I don't think I want to do that. I don't even think I like Daniel. This was a bad idea. I feel trapped. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing? I don't know. Well, that's all we have for you this week, dogs. I'm Naomi SJ. And I'm Kendall Anderson. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day and enjoy the Sadie Hawkins dance. We'll see you next week.